Sierra here with Gypsy Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today I'm going to be using another fragrance from the Brambleberry Enchanted Garden Collection. Super excited about that. It is the Pink Petals fragrance, so there is a lot of pink going on in this, so pretty much all pink. So let's get started. I've just added in my lye solution that I add Tussa Silk and Sodium Lactate to into my oils all room temperature that has coconut milk powder and kaolin clay in it and I am whisking this together because we're going to be doing some layers here. I'm going to do some sculpted layers and some mica lines. I'm going to make this a very pretty and pink and fancy looking soap. So let's give this a mix and I'll show you what pink <laughs> really looks like in a soap because I'm telling you this doesn't get any more pink. <laughs> up into three different bowls. There's going to be three different layers. I'm going to put some, this is called Princess Pink, this is Soapbox Micas, into this soap. I'm going to start with measuring out just the Pretty in Pink in this one bowl, and then some Pretty in Pink in this bowl, and no Pretty in Pink in that bowl. <laughs> and we're going to put some Titanium Dioxide Dispersed in water. For this one to be a white layer, for this one to be a pale pink layer. So let's give the white, no, well, let's start with the darker color first. I think I want that on the bottom and then end with the white. So let's give that one a mix, see if that's good enough. And then we'll start pouring and adding our fragrance and all the fun stuff. So the fragrance is called Pink Petals. It does discolor to an off-white and has mild acceleration and cold process soap. I'm going to add some of that in. The notes are peony, peach, iris, lily, amber, sandalwood, and musk. Let's start by pouring that in and hand mixing it. It is a very light floral. It's not very strong, so I'm really, really hoping that it sticks in my soap. <laughs> so I'm going to hand mix this in. Pour in the first layer. We'll wait for that to set up so we can sculpt it. Got my little cake comb here that I've cut to fit my mold. And then I've got some copper penny mica from Nurture and a little tea ball strainer infuser thingamajig <laughs> that I'm going to put a mica line in between that layer. And I'll do that with the second layer as well. So let's get our molds over here and start pouring.
So going on top of this soap, I have some pink flowers and my finger apparently is going in there as well. <laughs> you guys have probably heard me talk about how I am crap at <laughs> piping flowers and I feel like I had given up. I really have. I was like, all right, I'm just not the kind of person who can buy flowers. But when Brambleberry sent me this collection that was called Enchanted Garden, I was like, all right, you kind of have to do something special for this and you just, you have to go all out. So <laughs> I practiced and I think that is the biggest tip that I have for anyone who wants to pipe on flowers is you really just have to practice. And you can see, like, when I first started off, they were quite funky looking. And as I went along, they got better and better. And I really think it was just like I needed some practice to get what I wanted here. And I've nailed <laughs> the, these kinds of flowers anyway, I think. I've done um, some roses as well because there is a rose fragrance in the collection and you guys can laugh at them later but I encourage anyone who wants to pipe flowers to just keep trying they might not look good but I promise you once you put them on top of soap you won't even be able to tell it'll tie right in some of these I'm really proud of <laughs> others not so much this one's a pretty one Let's fit that one on there um, and then I have some pink rose petals that came in the Ench Enchanted Garden collection as well. I've got some blackberry seeds and some pink bursting beads. Those are all from Brambleberry. And that will top the soap off. Oh gosh, I'm so happy that I decided to try and pipe flowers again. Even if I made a huge mess and I was so frustrated, I really, really like pipe flowers on the soap. So don't give up. And speaking of flowers and the fact that there are peony, it, peony flowers in the scent, my peonies are doing fabulous. Every year I get excited when they start to bloom. I've had them for a few years now and they just recently, they're really filling out. Um, and it took, took them a while to bloom and after all these years, I finally <laughs> remembered to go outside and tie them up before they just fall over and drag on the ground. And now I can really appreciate them. So let me see if I can figure out if I can fit a couple more of these on there. If not, no big deal. Right, happy with that. I'm gonna start by sprinkling on some of these rose petals and then I'll top it off with the little, little things like the bursting beads the blackberry seeds and the glitter and then we'll give it a little spray with rubbing alcohol and that is that you guys are going to see that rose soap in this collection as well i didn't <laughs> i didn't film me piping any of these flowers because it was it was a struggle it was a lot of mess <laughs> it was a lot of me like redoing them and yeah didn't want to film that. It took me forever. I think once I do it more often, I'll get better at it and faster at it, but it spent the good part of my day <laughs> trying to do that. All right, that looks good. Just give this a little mix, a little sprinkle of that, some glitter, and that's it. I'll let it sit for 24 hours. I'll bring you guys back when I can, when I'm going to cut it. <laughs> like squeeze on a couple more of these. So I've turned it on its side so that all those loose bits can fall off and make their mess. And 
it won't cause any drag marks when I go to cut the soap with all those botanicals on top. So this is what the inside looks like and I think it is just absolutely darling. The mica lines in there and that little sculpted layer design and the different pinks in there. It smells lovely. It's still very soft but that is just fine. Very delicate. And of course, the top of this is the showstopper. I hate cutting into those flowers, <laughs> but you gotta do what you gotta do. Look at how pretty, I love it. It's so awesome. Mm. I have so many awesome designs for this enchanted fragrance, enchanted fragrance, enchanted garden fragrance collection. So there's two more left to make soaps with so be sure to stay tuned for those this one is going to be available on the june 26th shop update so mark your calendars so pretty thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video as always <laughs> if you did please give me a thumbs up if you are new to the channel and have not subscribed yet think about it and then do it. <laughs> Any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day, and I will smell you later.